the last video when I rebuked the demon in Jesus Christ's name, it did this to me. I had to look at why. Why was there a separation of spirit? And I should have known there was without there being a demon nodding his head no, um, because I wasn't filled with the Holy Spirit. And that being said, the fruits of the spirit, Galatians 5, 22 through 23, are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Seeing as that I had let my ex back in, I was not filled with the Holy Spirit. I was filled with the opposite. So it kind of opens those doors. It um, weakens the security system that we have with the Holy Spirit when I'm not operating. Um, so the Holy Spirit wasn't protecting me. When I rebuke the demons, when anyone rebukes a demon, they're not, they aren't listening to us. They're listening to the authority of God, the sword of the spirit which is also part of the full armor of God. So I didn't have on my full armor of God. I didn't have on my belt of truth, which I look at the armor um, a little bit differently, not differently than what scripture says, but with me, it's also not just the truth that holds it all together, which is accurate, but it's also, if I'm not being 100% honest about everything, then that allows a doorway for the demons. Um, I had not lied, but I was not exactly honest. I didn't tell specific things. So omittance is basically a lie is a lie, kind of it's the same thing. So I wasn't wearing my, blessed, my breastplate of righteousness. Um, for many reasons, the anger, um, the cuss words, being uh, talked to in a way that would be offensive to the Holy Spirit. I was watching regular things, movies with sexual content, um, Helmet of Salvation. I don't believe that demons come through the TV, but I do believe that what we see goes straight to our minds, which that also is a doorway into your temple, if you will. Um, that's how they get to your thought life. So that was not, my helmet of salvation wasn't on. I wasn't studying my scripture like I normally do because I was busy um, and angry with the situations. So there were many reasons why I wasn't filled with the Holy Spirit. I didn't have on my shoes of peace. Um, I didn't have on my shield of faith. I was not, I was just was out, I got lost. I got lost in the world. And I was, I had a lot of unforgiveness that I forgot that I had because of the emotions from this other person in my life. So. The Holy Spirit is very sensitive. And although um, I don't think that he completely left me this time, um, like what happened in the beginning three years ago when I really feel like God delivered me to the devil. And you'll have to see that in a different video. It's too much to talk about right now. But it's the same things were happening. I got stuck in this world and um, so I had to regroup. I had to um, make the list of where I where I lost the connection, where there was a separation of spirit, and um, get on my knees and ask for forgiveness, and asking for forgiveness in a way that I ask now, and now I ask because I'm so sorry that I hurt him, because when we are doing things that the Bible says not to do, we actually hurt God. And when you start getting closer to 
Jesus and the Holy Spirit, you actually feel that pain too. It hurts me to hurt him now. So when I'm asking for forgiveness, I'm crying. And when I say I'm repenting, I'm, I'm legitimately heartbroken. So I did all of that. And I prayed that Jesus would help me, um, the Holy Spirit, come back into my heart um, and help me re rebuke the demons that were being disobedient. But because they don't have to listen if the Holy Spirit isn't with us. So the Holy Spirit is what gives us power. And um, without that, then we really don't have power over them. And I think sometimes in the past, they they left because of, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. They will leave, but it does not keep them away. So that's just what I've seen, legitimately seen. So they can leave, and then sometimes they will come right back in again. So um, again, these are like trials and tribulations of experience with seeing them. So that being said, um, I realized that this person, um, it wasn't him. He's a child of God too, but Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, I didn't have on my full armor of God. So I was accountable. I was responsible for the things that transpired. So um, as I went to bed, I could still see um, very aggressive demons, their faces kind of like, but just not doing anything. They weren't terrorizing my animal um, like they do, like they have, um, but they were still in my in my presence is strong. Um, sometimes if, if everything's really going smoothly, I still can I notice them, but I don't see them. Um, and again, they're always here but they're more pronounced when I'm not, when I'm not living Bible-based, if you will. So um, I went to bed and then at about 2.45, um, I woke up and uh, my room was filled with horses, spirit horses, people, spirit horses, not real horses in my room. Um, some didn't have wings, but the, there were winged horses, flying horses um, that were gold and there were sparkles and tons of sparkles and um, just shooting all over the room, just flying everywhere. And uh, I have to also say this too, um, as I'm seeing this, it's all spirit form. And also, I did not read this in the Bible and then see it. I've seen these things and the things I see in the sky, before I read it in the Bible, I was seeing these things. And then as I read the Bible, and I've had friends with me when I'm reading the Bible and I say, that's like similar to what I'm seeing. Not exactly how it's explained, but from what I explain, I explain it differently, but it's really close to that. Chariots, I'm seeing chariots. I'm seeing, um, an example of this is that um, Ezekiel talks about lightning like a barrel. And, and I didn't know what a barrel was. I had to, and it's a stone and it's sparkling like a barrel and lightning flashes. That's what these horses looked like going through my room. And it's not the first time I've seen these horses, but it was just, I guess it was so um, empowering for me to know that I had a demon that was shaking its head no. And then I spoke to Jesus. I um, repent. I said, you know, I prayed a lot. And then steadfast, these gold horses at cherry just in my, all over my room. And I don't think there were chariots in there that night, just these flying horses and just, um, just horses without wings shooting all over the room. And then there were no visible, scary demons like coming at me at this point. And then when the flying horses were finished, then 
I wasn't seeing these prominent um, spirits anymore. So please stay with me. I have more to tell you. That just happened just last, well, right when the holidays were over. So um, I only have so much time to tell you um, these stories. So I don't want to go any farther than that, but I do want to say, um, please subscribe. And in my last video, I had said that I watch YouTubes all the time and I don't subscribe. I should have said I hadn't subscribed before um, because I didn't realize the importance of it, but it really does help us um, to know that you are appreciating them or you like them. If you like them, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't, then you can give me a thumbs down, uh, but just respond so I get some feedback. Um, and then you can email me at separationofspirit at gmail.com. And I hope to see you again. And as I always say, if you don't know who's living in your temple, then ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart. Ask for forgiveness. He will forgive you. I promise. And if you hear my other videos and you've heard how not a saint at all, complete opposite. I had biblical dyslexia. I was doing everything that the Bible says not to do, almost everything. And so he will forgive you and repent. Just stop doing the things that the Bible says not to do. Don't do them. And please stay tuned and I hope to see you next time. God bless.